say not too many surprises, but I have to say, like, a, the Australian girl was... That, that was a surprise. Yeah. Yep. And fair play to her. Well, the thing is about, you know, the Australians and the, the, uh, the South Americans and the New Zealanders, we don't see them over here, and there's not a lot of racing for them back in their home country. So they come here sort of unknown, and they sneak under the radar a little bit, and next thing you know, they're standing on a podium. So Yeah. And I, sorry, Jim. I think they were in Solnok um, preparing before here. Yep. Um, so they've had some good preparation in the weeks coming up to this. Solnok, of course, for those unfamiliar with... Hungary is just up the road from here. I think it's about 80 kilometres from here. It's been the Australian base for years and years. They've, uh, they've basically set up a second home there. There's Anna Lutz getting uh, congratulations from family and friends. She'd be pretty happy about all of that, and what a lovely farewell for her. Yeah. And Frederica, the girl who came second from Denmark, she's actually coached by Zoltan Bako who is Hungarian um, and is now the women's coach in Denmark for the past six to eight, six to eight years. He's been the coach in Denmark, so um, special for him as well to have her win a silver medal here in Hungary. So we're now getting ready for the first of the K4. This is the K4 men's junior 500 meter race. And we've got the team from Lithuania who will be in lane one. Lane two, Belgium. Fourth in the European Championships, much the same uh, crew as uh, as the crew that were fourth in uh, Belgrade. Yeah, next to them will be the team from Poland, who were seventh in the Europeans, but big couple of big changes to the uh, to the crew since then. So, lane four are the Germans. They were third in the Europeans. Three of the the crew. Just jumping back to lane three, uh, that is the, that's your Polish crew there. So you'd expect the Poles to do much better here than their seventh in uh, in the Europeans. As I said, they've, they've changed a couple of the crew members since the Europeans. So obviously, uh, and there's the Hungarian. Now they will be, they're in lane six, so we've missed the Spaniards somewhere, but the Hungarians are in lane six. They were second in the Europeans. There's your Spaniards in lane five. They are uh, the European champions. And lane seven is the, the crew from Ukraine, fifth in the European Championships this year. And Slovakia, always prominent in K4 racing. They were sixth in the Europeans. And the last crew, the team from France, who I must say they've been very low key here. We, we haven't seen a lot of the French athletes really stand up. And in fact, it's been a bit quiet for the French for some time now at a senior level as well. Uh, two years out from Paris, I'm sure they'll be looking for some positive signs, but they will go in lane nine, eighth in the Europeans. So Jen, uh, junior K4 form, it is hard to run a line through this, but uh, we know the Spaniards were first in the European Championships. Three of that crew are here today, so they would have to have a, a really good show. The Hungarians, I think it's the same four that finished second behind Spain. So I'm expecting it'll be a race between lanes five and six. Yeah. Maybe discount the Germans. And maybe don't discount the Belgians either. Fourth of the Euros, you know. Um, the Belgians have really increased their base of paddlers now. They have a women's K4 now racing at senior level, which uh, is phenomenal, obviously, with the great paddlers, Lisa Brooks and Hermian Peters. Um, and then you've got Arthur Peters showing the way also um, in his K1. So they have some great people to look up to. So the first of the 500 meter races, it's a K4 men's juniors. The European champions are in lane five. The Hungarians are in lane six. So watch in the middle of the course, see who gets out the fastest here. They're underway as the rain continues to fall here in Zeged. And it is in the, well, it's in fact across in lane two, it's the Belgians, as you said, uh, Jen, who've gone out nice and fast early yeah. on. And there's, look at the ducks. I love the ducks here. Ducks are part of the race. Uh, the Hungarians now are coming through nice and strong. It looks like they're probably got their nose as well in front uh, lane two it's the Belgians and I think it's the Spaniards as well that are up there so there you front three at the moment as we head towards the halfway stage of the race Hungary already wow that's a very prominent start the Spaniards are trying to chase them down the Germans are there as well but it's at the moment it's Hungary every poster winner for this local crew here 
They've often opened up a commanding break now. The Spaniards falling back. It's the Germans now who are trying to chase down, but I don't think they're going to get anywhere near this crew from Hungary. It's a very strong performance. They really are showing their dominance here today. Yeah, we get across a look across the field here. It's Hungary well and truly in command. The Germans, I think, slipping into second. Spain is now got to act together and trying to come home, but it's the Germans in front, Slovakia, uh, Slovenia on the outside coming home as well, but it's the Germans second, maybe Belgium third. Yeah, I think Belgium's just got the bronze medal there. But you can see there the Hungarians, they're pretty pumped. Why wouldn't you be pumped to win a gold medal at your home? To re reverse the result, to change the result by one place from the Europeans where they finished second. But they were in charge right from the outset, Jen, in that race. They sure were. They really showed their dominance from, from the gun. And you can't, you know, the Slovakians were coming through there fighting for that bronze medal. Slovakia have a great history of crew boat racing. Um, their men's K4 over the years, and now they've really formed a really strong women's K4 this year also, fifth at the Euros. So it's great to see the Belgians come through in such a dominant race by the Hungarians to claim that bronze medal. Yeah, yep. it's... it's I mean, what, what we're seeing already, I must say, Jen, is, and this is, I mean, obviously Hungary's had a great start, but we've seen already medals for Australia, um, uh, for Denmark, for Bulgaria, and now we've got a medal for Belgium as well. So a nice little spread of medals already today, which is uh, fantastic to see other countries stepping up now and showing uh, they've got some good young paddlers coming through for the future. Yeah, it really does bode well for the future. and. You know, Hungary, Hungarians have had so many superstars to look up to from the past, uh, both male and female athletes. So there is confirmation. Hungary with the gold medal. Germany more than a second back in uh, the silver medal position. Belgium coming through to take the bronze. I'll be pretty pumped about that. And Spain, the uh, European champions, finishing fourth. They may be a little bit disappointed with that result, I'm sure. but. Can't take it away from the Hungarians in front of their home crowd. And the, their home crowd is giving them a really warm welcome back onto the pontoon. I you know these are the memories you'll cherish for a lifetime. And hopefully these athletes continue on into the under into they the are. under 23 and senior ranks in the future. They are soaking it up, aren't they? Yeah, for there sure. This is what makes sports special. <laughs>